In this video, you will learn how to navigate in and use Libby. Libby is the new, improved, easier to use reading app Overdrive provides. If you're starting out, Libby is the app that you want. If it's your first time using Libby, go to the App Store or Google Play, then search for and download Libby by Overdrive. Open your Libby app, tap on the head on the top right to manage your account. Click on add a library and then search for Santa Barbara or 93101 and select Black Gold Library Consortium. To add your library card, tap on add a library card and then put in your library card number and press add and you should be good to go. This is also where you can set your preferences for where you want to read your books such as Kindle or Libby. At the bottom of the app, you can see the choices between library, which is where you find new items to borrow, or shelf, which is where you can see the items you've already borrowed or have placed on hold. In library, you can see books we are recommending, you can see our new titles, you can explore by simply scrolling down. If anything catches your fancy, you can click on see over this many titles to see more items, or you can tap the book cover to choose a specific title. Audiobooks will have a little earbud symbol at the bottom and will also say audio. When you've tapped on a cover or you're searching in a list, you have options listed as borrow, read, sample, and tag, in addition to being able to read more about the book. You can tap on read a sample to read or listen to a sample of the book, or you can choose tag, which lets you add it to a wish list and save it for later. This is not a hold. Tap borrow and you'll be ready to read the book. If you know what you want, you can tap the magnifying glass at the top left and write the title. Libby will suggest what you mean as you write and you can tap any of those or simply finish writing and hit the magnifying glass at the bottom right of your keyboard. You can easily borrow and hold etc from the search. Sometimes the book is already checked out and it will have place a hold instead of borrow. It will also list the wait time and you can tap on the little calendar for more details. Let's head on over to Shelf. Shelf defaults to showing you your loans, but you can easily navigate to holds and tags. The loans will show you when they're due, give you options for where to read it by sending it to a Kindle, reading it in the app or sending it to another e-reader device. If you have a Kindle, simply choose this option it will transfer you to a login screen for your Amazon account. Log in and the item should download next time you open your Kindle. Libby will remember your account for next time. If you want to read it on the device you're using now, simply choose Read in Libby and it will open its own reading option. If you change your mind, tap Manage Loan to choose another option. In Holds, you can see how soon the item will become available to you. And under Manage Hold, you can cancel the hold or even tell it to deliver later. Here you can also renew the title once you have less than three days left, or you can return it at any time. Further down, it will show you your recent returns, which can be useful if you want to borrow it again. Tags let you access your wish lists. Be aware that if you also use the browser, these lists do not show up on both platforms while the holds and loans do. If you have questions or comments, contact the library through the normal means by email, chat, or phone. 